Hey y'all. Welcome to my Whole30 grocery haul. Um, right before my husband and I started Whole30, I went to um, Walmart and did a grocery pickup. I also ordered a box from Thrive Market and I just wanted to share those things with you. So first up, we have some sesame seed oil, um, some pomegranate juice, some apple cider vinegar, apple juice. Um, this is partially for the, the Whole30 and then also partially for my kids. A gallon of milk for my kids. And then this is not food, but we really needed some bleach. <laughs> so I ordered that as well. Um, I bought a whole bunch of um, seltzer waters. I They only have them in this specific bottle. I just went to my local grocery store and bought them in two liters. So, um, And then we also, the day before, we were having a junk food day. So one of my husband's requests was this crappy canned cheese. It's crappy because it's not good for you. It's completely delicious. <laughs> and then we also got two pizzas. One is this chicken nacho flatbread and then an ultimate meat pizzas. I've never actually had these two specific ones. They were delicious. Um, and then for the crappy nacho cheese, we needed some on the border chips. Those, those are the best chips. I'll, I'll fight you on that. And then we had to get some peanut butter party ice cream. I got, I can't remember whether I got five or six of these whole chickens. Um, it's, I mean, the most efficient cost per chicken is to get them whole. So that's what we did. And then I got um, three packages of chicken breast, three packages of, I don't know what kind of meat that is, but the stuff you slice up for fajitas. Is it flank steak? Bottom round? Oh, it's thinly sliced bottom round. And then I also got a whole pork butt or a pork, uh, yeah, pork butt, and then a pork tenderloin. Now we're in the frozen food section. I got five bags of these frozen sweet potatoes, three bags of frozen spinach. Um, this is actually something new that I've never purchased before, but I bought some frozen diced avocado. I will let you know how this goes. I, I've never tried it before. I bought three bags of these mixed vegetables and then six bags of broccoli. 12 pounds of broccoli sounds like a lot, but it is our favorite vegetable. And then I bought a whole bunch, like 10 bags of these rice cauliflowers. Um, for some reason, they were out of the great value brand whenever I was ordering. Um, and then I got some potatoes. And these are my husband's favorite Whole30 thing. That is sweet potatoes. And then, yeah, I don't even know how many I ordered. Just a lot. <laughs> and then I also ordered some red potatoes and then just a 10-pound bag of russets. And then I got a bag of green grapes and a bag of purple grapes. Um, yeah. I got some mushrooms and cucumbers and some, what kind of apples are those? Honeycrisp apples. Uh, these are also my husband's favorite. I got some onions. Uh, we use those in literally everything. So we would have had to order those even if we weren't doing Whole30. Um, I bought some Roma tomatoes, which are not ripe enough, but whatever, it's tomatoes. <laughs> Cannot wait for tomato season to get here. And I also ordered some avocado. And then I ordered a little baggie of um, ginger. And then I ordered, I think, four of these green leaf lettuces and some celery. And I think I missed it, but I also ordered limes and lemons. And then I ordered a bunch of berries. Um, they were all reasonably priced. So I got some blackberries and some raspberries and some blueberries, which my family was already trying to eat before I could record this. I also got a thing of strawberries, I think five green peppers, a bag of cilantro, a bag of cilantro, two bundles of cilantro. Um, yeah, I could literally eat this like salad. <laughs> and then I got some uh, spring mix 
And then I bought three bags of navel oranges. No, we do not like oranges that much, but tis the time for the Orioles to be here. And I'm pumped. So I bought three bags of oranges. Also, oranges don't go bad that quickly. So they'll keep in our refrigerators. The kids have been eating them. It'll be, it'll be fine if we, for some reason, don't get Orioles. But I really hope we do. Anyways, that is all the food that I bought from Walmart. It was a lot. I think the total, which I feel it was reasonably priced, was $412 and some change. Um, now we are going to do the Thrive Market grocery haul. Again, this is another situation where my husband and children decided they needed to get into my groceries before I could film my video. So, um, I got, I think four, three or four of these, um, avocado sprays. They're like the aerosol free kind. Um, I also bought three Dijon mustards. Let me tell you, I am a mustard fanatic and this Dijon mustard is absolutely the best Dijon mustard anywhere. It's my favorite. Um, I got some elementy or element. I don't know how you say it. Um, electrolytes. These are the just plain ones with nothing, no flavors. Um, they, it's whole 30 compliant. And then I got some collagen peptides on flavored kind, also whole 30 compliant. Um, and then I got two of these nut pods. I've never had these before, but they are whole 30 approved. Um, they're nice as it adds a little bit of flavor to your coffee without being overpowering. Also, you missed it. I put, I, I missed it. I put the, um, uh, what is that called? It was like chai tea concentrate. That was my free gift. I didn't spend money on that. We drank that the day before we started whole 30 and then I got some almond butter and some ghee. And then now we are into the salad dressings. This is one of the nicest things. The first time we did Whole30, we did not buy Whole30 salad dressings. I tried to make salad dressings and it was just, it was a headache. Um, so I strongly recommend if you do Whole30, which Whole30 is hard, but it's not that hard if you make it easy on yourself. So like if you buy the convenience of buying the Whole30 brand salad dressings, um, it makes it a lot easier. And then I also got some vanilla because we were out. And then, so I got three different salad dressings. I got the Whole30 um, Ranch, the Primal Kitchen Balsamic Vinaigrette. And then I also got the Primal Kitchen um, Caesar Dressing. All three of these are Whole30 approved. A lot of the stuff that is Whole30 approved comes with the like Whole30 stamp of approval on the packaging. I also bought some mayonnaise. Whenever we did Whole30 the first time, I made all of our mayonnaise, which making mayonnaise is not hard. That's actually a really easy thing to do. However, it's just convenient whenever you have two small kids and it's the middle of ball season. And um, yeah, anyways, so I ordered mayonnaise. And then on top of that, I also ordered the Whole30, um, what is this? Also, my husband is quizzing me to make sure that these are actually all Whole30. They are. Everything I ordered is Whole30, except for the vanilla extract because it has alcohol in it. Um, but the sweet chili sauce, and then I also got a barbecue sauce. All of that is Whole30. And then what is this? Um, this is actually not Whole30. This was on accident. I thought I was ordering Coco Aminos. It's the same brand as like the popular Coco Aminos brand, but it's teriyaki sauce. You want to know a flavor that I don't like? The answer is teriyaki. I hate teriyaki sauce. It's gross. I don't know what I'm going to use that on. Not excited. I'm pretty bummed about it. So I still need to order some Coco Aminos and figure out how to use some teriyaki sauce. That is all I have for you guys today. This is two grocery hauls mashed into one video in preparation for a Whole30. I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your weekend, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, y'all.